Item number, SCP-7008, Containment Class, Anomalous. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-7008 presents a negligible threat to the veil or foundation. Research into the cause of SCP-7008 manifestation events may continue, but no formal containment is required. Description. SCP-7008 is the manifestation of an otherwise non-anomalous artificial rose, made of pink fabric and plastic that spontaneously appears in populated areas. The conditions for its manifestation are still unclear, but a vast majority of events share the following in common. SCP-7008 usually manifests between 5pm and 4am local time. Despite almost exclusively manifesting in urban environments, the area is rarely heavily populated at the time. SCP-7008 favors industrial and business zones over residential areas. SCP-7008 manifests outside of direct human observation. Footnote 1. This, combined with the lack of anomalous effects following manifestation, make containment and research of SCP-7008 a low priority. Addendum 7008.1 Discovery Foundation data crawler Sylvia.AIC recorded a brief reboot of several audiovisual CCTV cameras in Norfolk, Virginia. As this was extremely unlikely without anomalous interference, it was flagged for manual review, leading to the first recorded SCP-7008 event. A transcription of the footage can be found below. Morgan Alda walks out of their place of employment, a local grocer's. It's 2.17 am. The street is dark, and all the shivers momentarily. Reaching into their pocket, they pull out a set of keys, and after 30 seconds of effort, lock the door to the building. They take a few steps back, still facing the building, and take a single deep breath. Rubbing their eyes, they wander to a nearby bench. Alda sits down and pulls a pair of earphones and a pack of gum from their pockets. They plug the headphones in, fiddling with their phone to find a song. Content, or at least okay with their choice, they put the phone down and stare across the road. A few minutes pass. The gentle breeze dies down. They gaze into the distance, isolated from the world around them. Rarely, a car passes, roaring as it does, but they do not react. Their every breath cuts the brisk air. Regardless, they continue to stare. A long while later, all this snaps back sighs loudly, and leans down, putting their head in their hands. The footage cuts out. When it resumes, a pink plastic rose can be seen to the side of the bench. Alda continues to sit, head in hands. After five minutes, they look up and notice the rose. They hesitate. Huh. They pick up the rose and turn it about in their hands, looking it over for a minute. Suddenly, they stand up almost jumping off the ground in effort, and slide the rose into their pocket. Slowly, they wander towards the camera as they head home. As they leave frame, they have a slight smile on their face. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to level 4 patrons Lesby Friends, Alexis Zagrate, Everborn, and Joe Light. And a huge shout out to level 5 patron Doomsday LLC Prince and Design, and level 6 patron Totally Not a Femboy. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.